Okay, so we're looking at the exterior part of the skull. So this is the front part. We're looking at this forehead part of your skull. This is the frontal bone. And then this right here at the very bottom, this is your bottom jaw and is formed by the mandible bone. This kind of top jaw um, is your uh, maxilla bone. And um, this is your cheekbone. So your cheekbone is your zygomatic bone. And let's see here. This is kind of the part of your ear, so this is the temporal bone. And of course, this was the frontal bone, and then the roof of your head, that's the uh, parietal bone. And between the frontal bone and the parietal bone, there is this suture, which is the coronal suture. And then in between the parietal bone and the temporal bone, there is this other suture, which is the squamous suture. And if you're looking at the back, or we're still kind of at the top, these two are the two parietal bones. In between them, we have the sagittal suture. This is the back of your head, so this is the occipital bone. And this right now would be the lambdoid suture. Okay, so lambdoid suture, sagittal suture, and then coronal suture. And this one was squamous suture right there. Okay, um, now let's see here at the front. So that was the mandible bone, and then this kind of top jaw is your maxilla bone. So these are the suture lines where the maxilla is going to end for this side. So you can see here, um, this right now is still maxilla, and then these two at the top of your nasal cavity, these small bones, these are the nasal bones. But next to it, the maxilla still continues. So this part is maxilla, and then this is still, you know, maxilla. And then you can see here, it also forms the floor of the orbital cavity. So this is still maxilla bone, maxilla, that's all. Now, so nasal bones, maxilla, and then next to it, this is the small lacrimal bone. Behind that, this is the ethmoid bone, okay? And then this was the zygomatic bone at the lateral side. And you also have um, this part right here. So this is the sphenoid bone. This is the greater wing of the sphenoid bone, and then this is the lesser wing of the sphenoid bone. And if you look at it here, this is the lesser wing, the greater wing. In between them, you have this uh, superior orbital fissure, and then right here below this um, greater wing of sphenoid is the inferior orbital fissure right here. So that's the inferior orbital fissure. Now, at the very top, you have the optic, uh, optic canal, and then this is the superior orbital fissure. This hole right here, this is the foramen rotundum. Foramen rotundum and then inferior orbital fissure. Um, okay, so let's look at the maxilla again for some more uh, structures. This right now is the inferior infraorbital foramen. So this is the infraorbital foramen. And if you look at this part right here, this is the supraorbital foramen. Sometimes you could see it as a hole. Um, so you can see it there, but in this case, it kind of looks more like a notch, so it's very small. So this is the supraorbital foramen, infraorbital foramen, and then um, the mandible is a little messed up there, but um, infraorbital foramen, uh, I'm sorry, supraorbital foramen, infraorbital foramen, and if you look at this mandible bone right now, uh, the mandible bone has this mental foramen, so they kind of all follow this um, almost vertical line. Supraorbital, infraorbital foramen, foramina, and then this is the mental foramen. This right now, um, this is the mental protuberance. And let's see here, in the maxilla again, in the maxilla you have this anterior uh, nasal spine, which sticks out right there. So that's the anterior nasal spine. Um, again, if we're looking at the nasal cavity, you have this, um, these two nasal bones. And then if you're looking inside, this is the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone, this right now. And then below that, this is the vomer. This is the vomer bone. And if you look at these things that kind of look like scrolls there, these two are the middle nasal concha, and these two are the inferior nasal concha. All right. Let's look at a side view of it. Um, this right now is still the greater wing of the sphenoid bone. So right now we're looking at the zygomatic bone. This is still the mandible, but this is the sphenoid bone. This right now is the temporal bone. So we have some structures to look at there. This is the temporal bone, and it has here this um, zygomatic process. So this is the zygomatic process. Um, this kind of big hole right here, this is the external auditory metis. And below it, this what sticks out, this is underneath, you can feel it um, underneath and behind your ear. So this is the mastoid process. And this pokey thing, that is the styloid process. 
so it's styloid, mastoid process, and then the external auditory meatus. And so that was the temporal bone. Now, if we're looking at the zygomatic bone there, the zygomatic bone also has this uh, temporal process. So you can think that the zygomatic bone has a temporal process, the temporal bone has a zygomatic process. And together, the, both of the processes will form this zygomatic arch. So this is the zygomatic arch. Um, and I think that should cover everything.